I'm Paul Weaver. I love hand tools, and so it would be very difficult for me to choose an absolute favorite type of tool, but hand planes would certainly be up there. Here I have a collection of eight hand planes, two smoothers, one jack, two block planes, one shoulder, and two finger planes. Of these, the jack plane and this block plane find their way into my hands just about every day that I'm here at the shop. But let's have a closer look at each one of these planes and how I use them to build a guitar. If you're just starting out, these are the three planes you need. A low angle jack, a low angle block, and a finger plane. In addition, when complemented with a range of different blades, high and low angles and toots, these three planes can do everything that you need to do to build a guitar. It is nice to have a smoothing plane, either like this wooden one I made out of Coco Bolo, it's adjusted with this hammer, or this nice metal bodied plane for smoothers, because having a dedicated smoother allows you to save time and not having to adjust it. The shoulder plane here is mostly used for jointry and furniture, and for guitar making, generally a chisel, be it a mortise or Vince chisel, can fulfill the purposes quite adequately. This would be the fourth plane that I would recommend you get. It's simply a block plane and it's nice to have two. This would be the ideal collection of hand planes in my opinion. And I've arranged them based upon the length of wood that they can adequately flatten. That's about two and a half times their length. So you can see this finger plane here it can really only adequately flatten a piece of wood that's about this long, but that's enough for the braces on the inside of the guitar. This block plane here, not only is it great at flattening some longer pieces of wood, but when used on its side, it's great for shooting. The smoothing plane is wonderful at getting that fine finish on pieces of wood. And the jack plane, because it's a bevel down plane, and I have a selection of blades for it, it works well, not only removing material using the tooth blade, but also jointing surfaces so that we can make sure that they're straight and flat. I hope that you've enjoyed this look into the luthier's world of hand planes.